Hi, Ben. How are you? Hey, how are you guys? You are Ben Rubin. You're yep. the man behind App Meerkat. Yeah, we're a team behind App Meerkat. How many people are behind App Meerkat? Uh, 11 people now. 11 people. You guys are in the news for the last couple of weeks. Yes, and yes, now you're, yes. You're particularly in the news. This was going to be a big weekend for you anyway, as it turns yeah. out. There's particular news that, that broke yesterday, both two announcements from Twitter. So let's just start by talking about that briefly. Yeah. So, so Twitter announced formally that they bought Periscope. It turns out they bought Periscope in January. Periscope was a live streaming app that does a lot of what you do. They also said they're going to limit some of the access you have to, mm -hmm. to the Twitter graph. Mm -hmm. So we talked about this a bit on Monday. If, if you were worried about that, you sort of intimated you thought there might be some cutbacks from Twitter. Yeah. So did this surprise you? The, the decision is not surprising. Yeah. The way it was, uh, uh, the way it was, they called me two hours before and said, we're going to cut your graph. Oh, this is a bummer of live streaming. Now it says audio only. But what are you going to do? We'll keep what, talking. Yeah. Do you have the, um, I actually have the, on my handle, is it still audio yeah, only? Yeah, we're still audio only. This is the nature yeah. of life. We'll yeah. Go All right. No problem. People want to hear what you have to say. No problem. And see you, but we'll do the see part later. All right. Cool. Uh, if you want, we can switch yeah, to my handle, the Wi-Fi. All right. So uh, we were at... Did I expect that this decision to be made? Yes. Right. Do I think they're right and they're right to do that? Yes. You do think it, they are right to do what they did? Yeah, it's their graph. Right. Uh, I think that the style was kind of contradictionary to what they believe in in their de developer community. Because they just announced it via a blog, or they what, what do you mean the style no. was a problem? No. So, so that's there is Fabric. Fabric community is a. Twitter developer community. It's an official, it's like uh -huh. the Twitter API community. And Twitter is working very hard in the past uh, year to create a community that they only, they only have 6% of people, developers using their SDK and they want to increase it significantly. Right. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that they do, they do a lot of like this flock conventions and they want to onboard developers to develop on their app, on their platform, uh, develop to Twitter. So you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I, like a Facebook connection. Is your point that, like that. Your point that by, 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 by calling by calling two hours before is working against. Okay, so let's back up. The they sense. did reach out to you two hours before they announced they were going to cut back yeah. on graph access. And was that your first contact with them? That was not my first contact. So you'd been yeah. talking to them. So you so you knew it was coming. You're just no, you we were like... not talking about that subject. Okay, we're not talking. What about were you talking about? We we're talking about. Um, like how can how can Meerkat contribute back to the platform? Okay. So how can we put like a button in the end of the stream that people can upload the stream afterwards and contribute back by uploading videos? We actually made a very beautiful presentation for them of how we want to contribute uh -huh. back to the platform. And so, and you know after we sent that um, the next call was we're going to cut your graph. Cut, and so you were not surprised. You just sort of it sounds like you're disappointed in the way they conveyed that information. Yeah, I think there. I think I think a fair notice would be like uh, you know a definitive, very strict time to uh -huh. to act upon and not. Okay, so two hours. that happened. You yeah. thought it was going to happen. So what do you do now? So we just took our timeline one day <laughs> before. You advanced it. Yeah, just in happen. one day, because we're starting to work on, we're starting to do it on, um, on Sunday. Like in Israel, you start the week on Sunday. Right. Uh, because Jews, uh -huh. just like me. Um, so we were supposed to start working on that specific stuff. How do we increase discovery and how do we decouple more and build our own graph? this week. So it started the day before. So there's going to be changes to App Meerkat. There are always going to be a changes in App Meerkat because the way we looked at it as Twitter would be a perfect place to jumpstart the community and jumpstart right. our vision. Um, the plans that we had just got a little bit uh, pushed uh, like uh, earlier. So this say. is the last question for the Meerkat folks and then we'll, then we'll do the rest of this on, on my platform Yo, right. and then we'll publish that. Uh, um, a lot of folks think that sort of you, the growth you've had to date has been because you sort of ridden on the back of the Twitter graph. Once mm -hmm. you don't have that access, what do you think happens to, to Meerkat's rapid growth? So there is, so, so let me be clear on that. There is no possible way to stop tweeting to Twitter live again. There mm -hmm. is no possible way, even without API. There's a certain way the OS built. There's a certain way the platform is built that even without API, everyone can tweet live video. So Meerkat will always tweet live video to Twitter, whether Twitter wants it or not, because that's, that's not right. dependent in, in API key. Everyone can go and do post to Twitter, right? 
on the composer on the OS. Let, let me ask the one really ob other obvious question. So, so in that sense, this is something that is not going to be deprived whatever, w w and they don't want to block it now. Right. Maybe they will want to block it. But they it. will have their own app that does something similar. Yeah. Um, when when Periscope is sort of integrated and launched into Twitter, what do you think happens? So when there's sort of first a, of all, a, I think it's probably going to be amazing. In. Yeah, because Twitter is a very smart company, and if they bought a company, a live streaming company, in the space, they understand the future. So and they could have if, bought you for a lot less, right? They spent a hundred million dollars on that. I don't. I, I didn't talk to them about yeah. that, and there was there's no there's no less or more. It doesn't matter about the money. It's matter about the mission. And what the team, what the team believes, is the mission that they're supposed to execute. And I think that we share the same views about the space with Twitter. I'm not sure we same we share the same beliefs in how it should look like. Okay. And that's it. So we're gonna we're gonna stop the meerkatting now. We're gonna keep taping this later, and we'll put that up on, on yeah. Reaper.net. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. Bye. All right. You know that meerkat is still working, right? Meaning. Like. People can still tweet live video. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's only so like they, new they, users. Right. New users when 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 new users join, when they go live, when sorry, when new users join, they won't be pushed via app Meerkat. Right. The notification. Right. For now, but right. I can. We're not on record. But that prop. No, we're, no, we're still we're still on the record. Oh. The camera's still going. Sorry. All right. That's all right. We're good. We're good. <laughs> but here. But um, we're fixing it. But. We're, okay, so we're you, working around. You, you got a boost from Twitter, and that boost is going away, but you're still going to be on Twitter. So now let's just talk about the product and sort of what you think people are going to use live for. Yeah. Um, because there's a lot of sort of head scratching. Like people can see some obvious applications for mm -hmm. it, but there's, there's also a bunch of folks I talk to who say, well, there's a limited application for this. Like there's very little that you actually want to live stream or that you want to watch live. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. So, so that seems like a problem for a product. Yes. So it's a problem not just on the product, it, the, the product. It's a problem for the brand and it's a problem for the community. Uh, the most important thing is to build a habit. So here's how, how the team sees it. You and I and our parents played with physical cameras. And we took pictures with physical cameras. And we had standards as a community, as a culture of what is a good picture and how it should look like and what does it mean to have a good picture. When a software substitute came, like Instagram, it was a natural transition. Like, we knew the standards. What is a good picture? How it should look like? What does it mean? On live video, we don't have it. My parents didn't live stream. Right. I'm not sure that even you, that, well, maybe you, because you're, in, in, you're a journalist. I'm very old. But did you live stream for just, like, fun before? I'm not sure that if you, right. ask, if you ask people uh, in the street, uh, do you live stream? Right. It's a habit that people have. And I think that the most important thing to a platform to do is to educate what is a good live stream. What is that? And it st start not by judging the content. It starts by saying, dude, you should just think about the next time you're going live. And you should understand that we expect you to go live when you feel awesome. Not when you, not when you want... A, 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 a button for attention, right? And I think that a lot of platform in the space miss this understanding and miss how to convey, like, we, the moment we understood that, we went, like, deep focus in what creates this uh, trigger in their mind. So one of the things that you can see on the platform is the scheduling. So you think people will get better at streaming? The if stuff, they understand. And then they will also want to do it more in a sort of curated, smart way. Yeah, so for example, I'll tell you something that, you know, we never ever thought would happen in that early stage. A real estate agency in New York post an upcoming stream in 17 hours showing a one-bedroom apart apartment, $1,800 right. a month, the Upper East Side. They're going to do a showing, 42 people subscribe and watched it. They did a showing with that. So you never know where people are going to take that. The most important thing is to educate this new habit forming to, to people that, you know, most of the people are not live streamers. And right. we need to educate them to be live streamers. So, so um, 
Again, I think it's, the Twitter question is pretty interesting, right? Because they obviously were interested in the space back in January. You didn't realize that at the time, right? There was there any signal? Yeah, from them and that this we would was do nothing different do. if we knew that. Um, there, there are a couple people I talked to that are interesting perspective. They said, "I feel bad for Twitter because it turns out they've been doing this for a couple months, spent a lot of money on it. Now they're going to look like they're copying." This, this kid, yeah, um, and by the way, how they look a little insecure because they had to spend $100 million to buy an app that you guys built in a couple weeks. Do you have sympathy well, for Twitter? I am sympathy with yeah. Twitter. Yeah, because, you know, they're great guys. Um, they're cool people there. They, when we had problems, they helped us. They have a business to run, and they have their own agenda. And that's, you know, it's important that smart teams will continue to innovate for the ecosystem. And there is no one winner. It's it's not it's it will be a disaster for the live streaming space yeah. and what we call a participatory space when it's the evolution between you are pulling content live video, uh, you are pushing content live video, then you are pulling people into your live experience, and this is the new content. The content when audience is present in the content and not just seeing it live, and and for this space. It's so small right now that it will be absolutely horrible if the... Yeah, it's yeah, very I like, small. I like that gesture, it's good. It will be just horrible to the space if the smart teams are not... If not the best teams are not working on the best thing. Because there's virtual reality coming and there's all sorts of stuff that's working in parallel. Yeah. There, it's going to be just amazing decade in front of us. So for years there was a, what's going to be the hot app at South by no, Southwest? No, it's not no, no, about no, no, hot no, no, apps. But, 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 but you are that hot app this year. There hasn't yeah, been one for a couple years. Yeah, but that's not the reason... Uh, that's not the reason we are here. I, I know, but yes. what is it like to be the hot app at South by Southwest this year? The, 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 this title means nothing. Uh, some My, what it means? Giving you hugs. That was that's cool. important. That's important. See? That's important. I'd rather people come in and giving me a hug and be the coldest app in South by. Because that's what's important. If people understand, like, we worked for two years to build uh, this, like, beautiful things that we believe in. And to, sorry, and to get people to come and understand it and hug us and, and believe in this after two years that we did some stuff that, uh, you know, weren't successful, it's very important. You told me earlier that this is sort of, that you had, a, you had a, an app that you were talking about that didn't work. This is the first iteration of a new version of it. You said you had a bunch of other ideas you were going to try launching. Yeah, are we had gonna, like uh, those spin, six ideas. Are you going to launch any of those or are you going to keep going with Meerkat? No, we're going to keep going with Meerkat. Meerkat's your winner. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going with Meerkat as long as we see. Like this morning, we started. We had uh, two times more streams in the morning, like 10 a.m. Two times more stream than yesterday. Yeah. So we're like, all right, people are actually like digging this. Uh, and when VCs come and, and, and they they call an email and text and write posts about how great you are. So we're very particular in that. Um, so we are not. You're having conversations. And uh, we are keeping who we who was there when Yevo started, and was with us and loved us and That's understand. That's your previous app. Yes. Yeah. Uh, people that were around us when we shifted from Yevo and agreed to take conversation with us and help us to build a better product, those are the people that we are keeping close. Uh, and if we'll do something, we'll do that probably So if a big name investor with a big check comes to you and wasn't a part of the original team, you have no room for them? Yeah, uh, basically. I thought you were going to equivocate, but all right, that's fine. Uh, well, you know, we, we have some very interesting and great friends here in the Valley and, and in San Francisco. And, um, and they've been, been very helpful before Meerkat. And I think it's time for the team to to acknowledge the fact that a fair weather VC is not a VC that you want. That's a good, thoughtful answer. We're going to leave it there. I know you got a ton of people to go talk to and give t-shirts to. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, it was great.